Hi, this is Brand Stady. Today I'm going to talk about creating a custom XML part in Word using two approaches. The first one in Word 2013 will use the XML mapping feature. And in prior versions of Word, we can use a VBA module. As an open XML developer, there are a number of development tools that make our job easier. There are the Power Tools for Open XML, the Open XML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio, the Open XML SDK Productivity Tool, and we can also use Word. Recently, I had a project where the client wanted to enable the user to upload the current working document to the client's website via a button in Word. In order to do so, I needed to create a custom XML part which would contain the URL for the client's website. Let's see how we can create the custom XML part in Word. I've already created an XML file that has a URL contents. If we open that up and take a look, we see we have the main root element as upload site and the URL is posttestserver.com. This is the test site that I use in order to test the upload functionality. We'll close this. I'll start by creating a new Word document. Call it test one. We'll open it. You need to have the developer tab enabled. If you don't have that tab in your view, go to file, options, customize ribbon, and click on the option for the developer tab. So then click on developer, XML mapping pane. Over here, we have the custom XML parts that currently are part of this document. We're gonna add a new part and we'll go to the directory where we have the XML file. Select the XML file, open. If we go back over here, that XML file actually had no namespace, so it appears in this drop-down menu as no namespace. Click on that, and we can see that we have the contents of that XML file imported to a custom XML part for this document. Let's save this. I'm going to save it as test2. And then close Word. Let's take a look at test two in the Open XML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio. I'll drag test two over. And it now has this custom XML folder. Click on the first item, format it, and we can see that we have the XML imported into a custom XML part that is now part of this Word document. Well, that works very easily in Word 2013. Let's take a look at how to implement this in prior versions of Word. I'm gonna close this. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna save changes? No need. Let's go back and reopen that test one document. So in this second method, we're going to create the custom XML part using a VBA module. Click on developer. Visual Basic. We'll add a module to that project. Insert module. And I'm going to create a new subroutine. We'll call it sub add custom XML part. And for this, I only need one string to hold the XML contents. Call it XML string. And to make this go a little quicker, I'm just gonna copy the contents from that XML file into the string. So I'll go back to the directory. I'll open this in Notepad++. Copy it all. And paste it here. And next I need to format this in order that it is a proper string. Okay, now we have our XML string properly formatted. 
The last remaining item is to add a custom XML part using this string. This document, custom XML parts, add, and we'll just use this string as the input argument. And that's it. If you wanted to generalize this a little bit more, you could say active document. And then whatever Word document you had opened at that point, it would add this custom XML part to it. But for this example, I'm just going to say this document. All right, now we're ready to run it. Run. And now the custom XML part is part of the document. Now, if you want to save this module, go ahead and do so. You could click over here and say export file. I don't need to. I'm only interested in the custom XML part. So let's close this. Again, we'll save as. And I'm going to save as test3. Now, it'll give me a warning asking whether I wish to continue saving as a macro-free document. I do. I don't wish to keep a macro as part of this document. Close Word. And again, let's look at this document in the Package Editor Power Tool. Drag it over. Look in the Custom XML folder. Format it. And there we go. So there are two methods to create a custom XML part in Word, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. This is Brand Stady. I'm an independent software contractor. If you need help with your open XML project, please contact me at brandstady at gmail.com. See you next time.